Hey guys, welcome back to yet another tutorial in Madlux VFX. Today we are going to see something trendy and I am excited to test a Runway ML web app. Recently I was seeing lots of videos on automatic rotoscoping here so I decided to check it out. Here is the website. Here try a Runway for free. Here we have the web workspace and we can see a lot of tools and applications powered by machine learning here. On the left side menu here we can see uh, in quick actions we have lots of AI tools. Also we have assets to act as a bin here. So in video tools we have the workspace for AI rotoscoping tool. Here we have pan and zoom in. and. Zoom zoom out click to zoom in and alt click to zoom out there are lots of footages by default here and I have uploaded some footages from my PC to test it out there are not much other options here just a disabled export option and a timeline kind of structure so I'm gonna drag a footage into this workspace or timeline uh, both are same I guess let it get loaded and this app doesn't matter with uh, how your system configuration is here we have the footage and as you can see there are lots of detail shapes needed if I'm doing roto here let's see the result from this tool here we have some tools like include exclude and zoom in parameters so this zoom level is fine I have selected include and gonna click and add some points oh my god just one single click and a mat is extracted for this frame here we can see some part missing from the mat let's include this area by adding one more point that's done now let's check the other frames and you can see the mat generated is awesome it's not so detailed we can see some parts missing here possibly because of the color similarities click and add a point and that's done here we have an option like foreground background this can be useful for a QC process I guess you can see the result here let's try one more footage dragging this to timeline you can see uh, this can be a complicated roto task let's see how machine is uh, helping us just click on the character oh wow some more clicks to include his shoes and that's a decent result in this frame let's check the other frames there are certain areas which needs more attention like this area uh, click on this and it's done other frame you can see uh, here the bg is not separated need some fine tuning uh, click with the exclude options oops uh, i think this area is messed up okay uh, skipping this fine tuning here let's move ahead see this frame is fine I'm impressed with the result which we got in around few minutes. Now let's try some footages from my collections. It's taking some time to load. Here I want to extract a mat of myself. Let's try green screen tool. Taking some time to load. Probably a faster internet could speed up the process. Include some clicks. And here we have a mat. Need some fine tuning here. And also here exclude certain areas wow this looks amazing too even though it's not detailed but able to extract a rough or less precise result in few seconds in few seconds click on the preview to view the result and viewing with a background wow that's amazing right it's wobbling a bit but this is really amazing you can see the detailing of the extraction here we can generate rough mats for various needs pretty useful see this frame it looks like a decent result so here in this frame needs more tuning or more, some more clicks see this frame other than that it's fine i'm amused by the way ai did this shot in charm let's clear composition this time and load a new footage uh, taking a bit time to load this is kind of tough shot let's see how successful we are with AI here there are lots of areas which is kind of similar with color and property also there are repetitions too let's isolate this house or cottage I would say click on here okay it's not working one more time yeah here we have a result but there are lots of fine tuning needed I know this is kind of tough but I was just experimenting. Let's play and see. Okay, the mat is steady there. Oops, here also the AI is failing a bit. Trying to exclude. Oops, uh, messed up. Okay, trying some other areas or let's isolate this river. I tried with multiple clicks, but I'm not satisfied here. Here too, I'm not satisfied. But I appreciate runway and the tool. Let's clear composition and move to the next footage. 
drag into the workspace wait until uh, it's loading okay taking some time to catch the images i'm just cursing my internet this time not my machine let's click on here here we have the matte extraction for this character if you zoom here it's not perfect but at least it's it is following the character let's check on the frame and here we have the head missing and also here we can click include that in the mat all these frames are somewhat similar this is awesome right just 10 minutes a rough mat is extracted and here you can see that now let's try to include this mountain in this mat clicking here and certainly we have some glitches here i'm trying to confuse the segmentation i guess but if we include or clicks multiple times in different places we are able to generate masks wow now the result follows in other frames nicely so this shot is done here here we have the background option which we seen earlier it helps us to do a quick quality check also the preview button to get a rough render preview here we have some options like uh, upgrade and also the exporting options we have the file name we have different bg to keep in background choose the mode of render if you want to render alpha only check this option and to my assumption sd is free to render and you need to upgrade for rendering HD output. You can see the rates here. If you are serious about this, consider subscribing. I'm sure world is changing with the tech advancements and possibly in nearby future, all the flaws or glitches will be rectified by the machine itself and rotoscopy will be just a click and a render job. Guys, upgrade yourself seriously. Until next video, take care guys. Bye-bye.